What's good with the YouTube? This is your boy Rojo. This is the Rojo world. What I'm going to do today, man, I'm going to break down the whole situation with the homie Doves and American Cholo and give you a little background as to why I feel the way I do. And a quick disclaimer. I do the disclaimer because I'm sure it's quite apparent that I don't like American Cholo, which is because of his actions, not mine. Everybody's always like, hey, be the bigger man. You guys should reach out. That 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 ship's done sailed. You know? The reason me and that dude don't get along is because during his argument with my boy Sonny Acosta from the Street Saint Loyal podcast, shout out to Sonny. Um the way Gil approached it, they were supposed to settle some differences that they had in their personal relationship. And the dude went as low as to try to make Sonny look like he was cheating on his wife and all kinds of things that just I've never seen from a man you know, not a grown man you know maybe a young man you know teenager you know first piece of female he's ever been with and he don't know quite how to act and stuff whatever you know just weird stuff I just never seen it man it's weird to me but during the course of the argument somehow Flacco and I got involved now does Flacco have some allegations against him from his past and whatnot? yeah does he openly admit it of course he does but for some reason Sonny or excuse me not Sonny but American Cholo chose to say the same things about me unprovoked like I never had an issue with the dude you know I never liked him because you know, when, I, when I'm seeing somebody on the air every day, I analyze them. You know what I mean? Mannerisms, characteristic, uh, phrasing, uh, delivery, uh, facial gestures, everything, man. I'm watching. It's just what I do. It's one of my hangups. I'm very interested in psychology and character analyzation and behavioral analyzation and all that. I'm a weirdo like that. I never felt dude style. You know, narcissists gets thrown out a lot and things, you know, scientific terms, psychological terms, and mental illness terms or whatnot. But man, just straight up, I find the dude to be arrogant and very, very, very self-centered. Now, the whole debate about Chicano, it's really not my place to stay. I'm not Mexican. You know what I mean? But uh, my definition Personally, as a Mexican American, a, a person living in America of Mexican descent, you know, so like first generation American, second generation American, just a person whose origins come from Mexico to live in the U.S. That's just my opinion, and that's irrelevant. I don't care if Gil's Honduran, I don't care if Dubs is, you know, 70% Mexican and Chicano and, and Portuguese Irish that's irrelevant to me you know I made it to the highest levels of my group and I look white as day now don't get me wrong I do have considerable amount of Latino blood however you'd never guess it by looking at me how I talk you know you'd have to see my dad you know what I'm saying then you'd be like oh okay that's weird he's just extra light complexion <sighs> This whole stuff is just insane, man. It started off with the Adam 22 thing. You know, the, the dude AC talks about, I'm still good in my hood, and uh, you guys are not active, dropouts and whatever. That's fine. That there's no, that he's not speaking fiction. I'm no longer active, nor do I give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's real good. Everybody who's been to the pen knows you know, if you've only been to YA, you've only been to the county, or if you're a very low-level, resident, regular northerner type of cat, it's real easy to me to remain in good standings. You know, if I would have just went to YA, I'd be all good. If I just went to Susanville, I'd be all good. I decided to be all I could be. That changes the playing field. There are a multitude of ways 
to end your career. Whether it be self-imposed, whether it be people telling, whether it be a bad call, whether it, be, there's so many different ways you can end it. Do I give a damn if anybody's active or not active? No, I judge them by how they deal with me. You know what I mean? So I talk to active people from both sides, north and south. I talk to inactive people. That kind of stuff don't matter. And any, any real person who's done that before time, if they're being honest with you, they'll admit the lifestyle has an expiration date. Especially when you hit them level fours, especially when you join any kind of organization. You tell me how many people who don't have life or 40 years or a huge sentence that are still in good standings that joined an organization that are on the streets. The list is small. We're talking about single digit percents. And that's just facts. You know, I've been I've been doing this stuff a long time and I understand. You know what I mean? I've made policy. You know, I've enforced policy. I understand how things work at the highest levels. And it's not it's a lifer's game. Straight up. You know. Who cares about anybody's status? I would never kick it with Dropbox, this and that. Why are you taking pictures and rolling around with Dubs? Dubs isn't active. You know, so you use those kind of insults or they're facts. We won't even call them insults, they're facts. To your advantage when, that's, when, when you feel like it's necessary to help out something you got going on. This whole thing you're standing behind. Now, I just heard... I don't know if this is true, but I heard that somebody told me that you had said you just found out that you were part Mexican. Now, to me, it seems kind of convenient with the agenda you're pushing with the whatever that little organization is that you got going on. And I commend you for that. I do. You know what I mean? It just seems all kind of convenient with all this debate about who's Chicano and who's you know, representing the Rasa appropriately. It's, it's weird to me. The timing seems kind of off, but that's only my opinion. That's speculation on my behalf. You could be being honest. I don't believe the fucking words you say. And I think, in my opinion, is everything that you do, you do to benefit you, to gain yourself more exposure. And again, I'm not knocking that. Get your bag. I'd like to see you succeed, provide for your children all this and that but uh you're messing yourself up bro you know you just you're alienating yourself i mean devs was a supporter of you i told them you were funny style i told him straight up man there's something wrong with that dude and he's like oh man he's okay now guess what rojo was right somebody told me the other day like Rojo, you might not have the gift to gab but everybody can see your brain working. I've, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have trouble, trouble articulating my thoughts in the words. It's just me. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to miss much. And I'm not going to be wrong often. And I hold no ill will. The reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people have said that, you know, Gunner should go ahead and go on his show. You guys should drop it. There was never an issue this dude has brought all this attention, negative attention, upon himself by his character and by his actions. And, you know, Dubs is my boy. D Dubs is my boy. If Dubs needs me, I'm on a plane. And I don't mean that in a way like if he's got fuck with the American show. I'm just saying anything in life because I respect him as a man. Because I've talked to him. I know real motherfuckers. Dubs is definitely a real one. He's the real deal. And it's like, why on God's green earth, when when you're not a real gangster, would you diss somebody who's really with that fucking business? I don't get it. Dubs is with the business. I've been around G's. He's, he's legit, bro. And that's part of the fucking problem. AC knows he's going to get passed up by Gunner. It's just a matter of a few weeks. Dubs is going to pass him. Marvelous is going to pass him. And he's had the whole southern genre pretty much covered at his own. He, it was him. 
I mean, the landscape changes, you know? There's the badass pitcher that starts off his career fucking 1.980 ERA, and he's averaging 10 strikeouts a game. Eventually, the game changes. New bucks come in, and they garner all the attention. That's just what happened, and it's not personal. You can't choose. I mean, you could do your best to try to do the right things on YouTube and, and social media and whatnot, but it's not all the way up to you. You know, there's weird algorithms that you don't understand. None of us understand them. Or we'd all have fucking a million subscribers. There's a changing of the guard. And he realizes it. He's getting desperate. And it's causing him to act, not to me, not out of character, because I, I've seen his character. You know what I mean? He just, he wouldn't last long on my yard, straight up. I would see right through that stuff and I send them on a mission. But uh anyway, in my in my opinion, I've seen this coming for two years. Eventually there was gonna be some things. First it's with the brothers. Yeah, that one video put out was chopped up and made to sound funny. I've watched every video, man. There's a lot of borderline bullshit that the guy said about the about the African Americans the black folks, the brothers, however they like to be addressed. I don't want to be disrespectful. Now, now you're going after the hottest guy from down south, man. Like, your strategy is, is puzzling. I, I don't get it. I'm cool with everybody until you diss me. And I reiterate this many times on my channel, on my lives. I've never fired no shots at nobody until my names came in their mouth in a negative way. There's nobody in the genre that supports the guy. Do I hope that changes? Man, I'd like to see everybody get along. I really would. You know, the social media, the, the whole YouTube platform, there's plenty of room for everybody, but people tend to get jealous. You know, that'd be like, you know, I got 9,000 subscribers. Oh. Gunner's got 50,000. I'm going to say this about him. Come on, man. That's not going to get you nowhere, bro. So, my opinion on the whole thing is American Cholo has a defective character. Can it be fixed and corrected? Probably. Will he try to do that? No, because I think his emotions overpower his intellect. And this is just my opinion on the whole thing. And again, my opinion may be biased because Dubs is my homeboy in real life. Dubs is a real one. I recognize. But uh, the problems with American Cholo, they started way before me and Dubs became homies. Straight up. And hopefully he alters himself, checks himself, humbles himself, realizes he's not. Ah, man, he thinks he's like really, really, really important in his own mind you know what I mean anyway I ramble a little bit but that's a little bit of how my brain works but let it go bro just stay in your lane man you know what I mean I don't wish ill on the dude but his his existence to me is pro Gil. period spokesman for Rasa Only time will tell, but I don't see it anywhere. This is your boy Rojo. This is the Rojo Room. And again, disclaimer, my feelings might be a little bit uh, biased, as I don't like to do, but that's my honest opinion, and I'll always keep it 100. It's Rojo, it's Rojo Room. I'm out of here, man. Y'all have a good weekend.